beauties, welcome back. For if you didn't know from the title already, I will be doing an unboxing for a few goodies I purchased from Ulta.com. However, I had forgotten what I purchased since it was so long ago. I quickly opened it up and was like, oh, that's what I got. Or I could have used that and I didn't because I did not open my box. So if you guys want to know what's inside, just keep on watching. So this is the box. It is not that big this time around. I didn't purchase that many things and I, now that I was looking at the items, I've kind of remembered that there wasn't a lot of freebies because you know Ulta does give a lot of freebies depending on what you purchase um, from a certain brand. It might be like spend $20 at like Bare Minerals and they're going to give you like a free blush or something like that. Um, and I know this time around they didn't have any like promo codes that you can use. Uh, sometimes Ulta, what they do is that, you know, if you spend like a certain amount, like $60, they'll give you like a bag full of goodies and there's possibly like maybe like 20 to 30 like sample items or maybe like full size items as well and that are, the value is like so much. So, so fortunately this time around, I was not lucky enough for that, maybe for like one thing, but that's about it. All right, so let me just stop rambling on because I tend to do that. So let me just see what's inside. So the first thing that I got, I don't even know what this is. I think it's like a spray or a lotion and there's like a lot of glitter. It is an Ulta brand. It's their Bally Blossoms Tropical Hibiscus Bronzing Oil Mist. I guess now that the summer is coming around, I can actually use this. I believe I got this because it was like on super sale and it was like $4 or something. Okay, I can't, this has no scent. So let me just open this up. It smells like something that you will definitely get at Bath and Body Works. I hope this actually works and I didn't get this in. Oh my gosh. Don't you guys hate it when you have to spray the nozzle? Oh, there you go. So many times and like the product doesn't come out. I don't know if you guys really can tell from the camera, but it my hand just looks so greasy. You can't even tell that there is any glitter on it. Yeah, you can barely tell. I'm just gonna stick it there. Can't believe I didn't open my box because I definitely needed this. Um, it is from Becca Cosmetics. It is their Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. Now, ladies, I know it's not good to purchase foundation online because you never know if it's gonna be your correct shade. And I don't think this is my correct shade. This is in the shade um, beige and it looks a little bit dark for me. I really love Becca products and I'm hoping that this is the right oh no I can already tell this is way too dark for me jeez see and this is why you open your purchase on time well you know what I will be getting a slight tan I am hoping and if anything I can always just apply this foundation on my skin or even mix it with um, a lighter foundation because I do have a few foundations that are a little bit lighter so um, I will still give that a go and see how it works and when I purchased that foundation, they were giving like a free um, shimmering skin perfecter, which I got this shade right here. This is in the shade Opal. And I feel like they always give the shade Opal as a freebie wherever you go. Because just really quick, when I purchased this right here from Sephora, they gave the Shimmering Skin Perfector from Becca and it's also opal. So I feel like that's like the only shade they really give for free. I really wish, you know, they would give a different shade. So next up, I got a few products from this brand called Essence Cosmetics. I did see this when I went to Generation Beauty. They gave me like a free sample of some glittered eyeshadows. They were okay, so I decided to test out a few of their other products. So I got one of their blushes. This is in the shade 10 Adorable. And as you can see in the inside, you have this beautiful like wavy pattern to it. I am gonna be testing this out and I will be uh, doing another like updated video on how these products works because I was really intrigued. Some people really love this brand Essence, some people really hate it. So I'm guessing it's just like a hit and miss depending on what you get. And I am so into brow gels lately that when I saw that Essence was having a sweet deal, like I think it was like buy one get two free, I decided to give them a shot. I did get two shades, they're still very light. Um, I know my eyebrows are a little bit dark right now because I kind of did them one a little bit heavy. but. I don't know why I always smell these things. It smells like chemicals. As you can see, the brush applicator is a little bit small and that's what you want. I hate when I see like brow gel um, applicators and they're so big, I have a few and I'm just like, oh, why would you want a big brush on your eyebrows? Now, I really love purchasing products that are from the actual store like Ulta and I have here a few lip products. I have a lip 
cream, I have a lip gloss stain, and another lip gloss stain, and I was just looking at this shade. For some reason, I got two of the same shades, but I think that was an error. Obviously, it's too late to correct that right now, so that was my fault. I will be having one to the side for a giveaway that I will be having, so I'm kind of wondering why I picked two red shades. Um, why? Now with the Ulta products purchase, I did get a concealer and this is their full coverage concealer. It is waterproof and I purchased the shade Light Warm. And I also purchased a brow product from them. It is their Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. It kind of reminds me of the NYX Micro uh, eyebrow, pe eyebrow Pencil and it looks very similar to the one from ColourPop as well. I know for me the ColourPop always seems to break. I don't know if that happens to you guys. I don't know if I have a heavy hand. It has never happened with my NYX one but from ColourPop for some reason every single time I tried to apply it always keeps on breaking and then I feel like I'm wasting the product and I know it's only like five six dollars but I don't think it's worth it if it's always going to keep on breaking for you. Moving on to my next items I did purchase a few products from NYX Cosmetics they are all lip products and these are the liquid suede so I added three to my collection the first one that I added was a little denim dress and the one in the middle is called sandstorm and right at the bottom it is called vintage I love these because they do last a long time they are so pigmented and they have so many fun colors and I really like the way they lay on your lips and that you will see some transfer because it's not like a liquid lipstick where it kind of like sucks on your lips um so I generally wear these type of lip products when I'm going out and running errands. Um, definitely not when I'm going to go uh, eat somewhere because it's just going to get all over the place. So, no. And then I also added three more shades to the Soft Matte Lip Cream also from NYX Cosmetics in this shade Kobengachin. I'm sorry, I am going to totally put it right here because I will not be butchering this name any longer. Um, Amsterdam, which is right in the middle, and then Moscow Moscow, which is a very very dark blue it is so beautiful so I can't wait for you guys to see my swatches for this I will do a separate video and I will be swatching all the matte lip creams that I have in my collection and lastly it is also from NYX cosmetics that I got and these are really really fun colors I got this NYX um, liquid I mean suede matte lip liner and it is in the shade let's see little denim dress so I I think I got this to match the liquid suede so I can line my lips with these and this is so fun and I feel like I need to get more of the fun lip colored pencils because I only have like nudes and reds and maybe browns that is like the only fun color that I have right now and I definitely need them for my other lippies. Lastly I got an electro liner from NYX Cosmetics. It is in the shade Power Lines and it is this really bright yellow liner. Now I have no freaking clue why I got this right here um, but I will try it out see how it works and get back to you guys so what is the lesson learned Stephanie always open your boxes when you get them because if there's an error a store can fix it I mean it's not a huge deal but that is completely my fault um, if you guys enjoyed my video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will be posting every Tuesdays and every Friday going forward um, so if you guys have an idea for a video it doesn't have to be necessarily makeup related it could be a DIY or it can be a food related item I'll be more than happy to post it and get that out for you hopefully you guys have a great day and i will talk to you later bye